Hey guys, welcome back to Above the Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're going to be talking about the report. What they really did was make it impossible to prosecute a mass murderer because if what we did to him ever came out in a court of law, the case is over. The guy planned 9-11. So the report is rated R. It is a drama thriller. It is two hours long. Release date is November the 15th. So the movie, it does take place within a decade and we do jump through the timeline. Kind of quickly, you never really get to full on know obviously everything that's going on. So Dan is actually tasked to have to go through um, the old uh, CIA records to try to figure out what exactly they did through these um, interrogations. Basically when they were torturing the terrorists um, after the 9-11 attacks. Now in this particular deal I really don't want to get too much into it because it is a political movie and um, I know how a lot of people you know you never really talk politics. I don't want to get like a lot of like criticism or a lot of like hate stuff going on with this um so let's try to keep the comment section as like decent as possible because it is kind of like a touchy subject when it does come to politics and obviously to 9-11 kind of took it upon their own deal to come up with these like torture um techniques to try to get information that never actually truly worked mind you um a lot of americans found this to be very acceptable right they put it in their mind that this is something that we need to be doing but it's kind of like if it was the other way around you know if they were doing that to us that would kind of be like a whole other like talk and i get it because then it's we're the ones being tortured and not the ones torturing people so that kind of kind of goes within a fine line so it's kind of like the people who think we're not doing nothing wrong because we're trying to save America, right? And then we got the other people who have their obvious morals. It's actually what's going on in the film and we do see a lot of the people who were involved originally with the, the um, torturing section and then just were again disgusted were not for it and you know decided to get transferred and um, we're gonna kind of just kind of cut it there because again um, that very touchy and you know you may be for or against it i don't know when to share down below you're more than welcome to no judgment i'm neither here nor there for it it, it is what it is it happened at the end of the day the movie really is just a political movie because you never get any real connection to any of the characters well me personally i never was connected to anyone a dad was very just kind of like here like there's like no real emotion with him somewhere around the uh, f uh movie they did show like a little small clip when uh zero dark 30 came out that political movie i did enjoy I mentioned snowden not the movie just the actual um person the movie is actually when snowden ends up finding out that the cia is actually hacking um illegally into person and spying on people if you want to make a game out of it good luck with that because you will be drunk probably within like the first 30 minutes of it if you take a shot every time that they see the review we were working on the report for about five years and they really wanted to build the case and get all the evidence that they possibly could uh, plus just like any kind of like political deal you know people want to shut it down and not have it you know come out to the open for Americans to see and know exactly what those who the people who are supposed to be like protecting them are actually doing which is like violating their rights or violating just human rights in general this movie is two hours long I felt the whole two hours you guys I, at some point they would have like this big kind of like revelation or this big like omg kind of in a way moment and then it was kind of like oh okay like i'm awake now okay what's going on and then we would kind of get past that scene and it's kind of um like tired where i was so tired you guys i had to go down uh to the bathroom to go splash some water on my face because i was not feeling the movie it was going to be more on the uh, slower side but what the movie was about really intrigued me and i'm starting to think that maybe i should have seen won't you be my neighbor instead because the screening was the same day so do i recommend for you guys to see the movie in theaters no i don't obviously like i said in my choice angels review um the other day i'll have that uh review come up and i'll link it down below we have five movies coming out this weekend like i said in choice angels please go and watch ford versus for RV. the one thing that i did not know when before going to the screen because if i had known i would have just waited and i would have gone to go see the good neighbor was that this movie is actually going to be coming out on Amazon Prime 
on November 29th. Now, if you are like a political person or just like political movies in general, then you're gonna enjoy this film. By all means, go ahead and watch this at the theater. It's an interesting movie. I'm not gonna deny it that, and I think it is worth a watch. But I don't think it's worth you spending your money in theaters. Before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each when I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!